So guys, as the issue of Biafra declaration in the Southeast gets tougher, Organizing Digbo has warned President Bola Mertinebo that dialoguing with agitators now is better. And this is after Simon Ekba, you know, said nothing would stop Biafra actualization come uh, December. Organizing Digbo has advised President Bola Mertinebo that it's better they call Simon Ekba, you know, to dialogue with agitators and at the same time, Get Mazen and the canon release. So this is the only way, you know, to quench this uh, problem that is about to befall, you know, Nigeria, particularly the southeast region. You know, talking about these Biafra agitators in the southeast. So you see, my people, uh, when you use what you're supposed to do, you know, in the first place, you call the car and they go the last, uh, last place. You go suffer some losses. I think that is what the Nigerian government is facing. You know, they think that when they use might, intimidation against agitators, eventually it's going to stop, you know, this Biafra agitation in the Southeast. But they never knew that the more they do that, the more they motivate these people who are agitating for Biafra. They said they are being marginalized. You know, they are being treated like half caste in their father's land. And uh, it's not possible that we beat uh, with people who do not see their value. That instead of that, they will go. Mazin and the Canon started this lately, you know, in 2017. He was arrested by Nigerian government and all that. Later, he constantly get, gained his freedom, you know, until the Nigerian government invaded his country home. They can't buy 28 persons. And that was what led to his parents' death. And since then, he has been tensed in the southeast. Apart from that, Nigerian government, you know, extraordinary rendition, Mazen and the Tano from Kenya to Nigeria. That is uh, 2021. 2022, Nigeria appeal court, you know, uh, rule in the favor of the IPOB leader. You know, they quashed all the, all the charges levied against him by the Nigerian government. And also said that there is no court in Nigeria who will try Mazi Namdi Kano. So Namdi Kano was discharged and acquitted. But President, Bola, uh, President Muhammad Buhari, then the Nigerian president, said no, he's not done with Mazi Namdi Kano. So the AGF, the, 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 the former AGF, uh, Abubakar Malami, can't use night, turn day, do all the waka waka and all that. So Mazi Namdi Kano is still in detention. They understand. And with the matter, the way the matter they go, you can clearly understand that the government do not have any proof against this guy. But what they are just doing is just to make sure, you know, to hold him down. Maybe holding him down will eventually stop agitation in the southeast. But they never knew that that is the biggest, that was the biggest mistake they ever made. Because now Simon Ekba is growing very strong. They understand. They never anticipated that Simon Ekpa will come out this trunk. You understand? So right now, the Nigerian government is stuck. They have tried every means possible to make sure that Simon Ekpa is being repatriated back to Nigeria, but he's not working. You understand? The Finland government, you know, have denied the Nigerian government, you know, that. Uh, to repatriate Simon Ekba back, their request to repatriate Simon Ekba back to Nigeria, they say they no go fit because they don't see anything when Simon Ekba do did to them. So they also pass through European, Europe, uh, uh, European uh, Union or whatever, and all that is not working. So you see, Simon Ekba is really giving them headache. So organizing the book, I've called uh, President Bola Metinobu, led the Nigerian government. He said it's better. You dialogue with Simon Ekba and uh, all the agitators and get Mazen and the canons released because Simon Ekba will definitely shock you. You understand the way he's going. Well, uh, the Prime Minister of Biafra uh, Republic government in Ezai, that is Simon Ekba, he has said that nothing on earth can stop the actualization of Biafra independence. So no matter how Nigerian government is going about what they are going about, 
it still stands that the Biafrans will definitely, you know, gain their independence come December. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.